are 52 cards in a deck, as everybody knows. So you guys have lots of choices to choose from. Uh, I'm going to use some rubber bands just to wrap them up. Because, Howard, if it's okay, I'm going to toss this deck out to you. The rubber bands will keep it from going all over the place. When you catch them, I'm going to snap my fingers. And when you hear the snap, I want you to just break open the pack and look at a card and remember it. And then you'll pass the deck to Heidi. I'll snap. Same thing. All the way down. And then, Howie, I'll ask you to toss the deck back to me. Howard, are you ready, sir? Excellent catch. One snap. One card. One card only. Heidi, if you would. Pass it to Mr. Buble. Mel B, one card, one card only. Excellent. Howie. Perfect. And just toss the cards back to me. It's all right. The idea of this is that I don't want to touch the cards. So here's what I'd like each of you guys to do is please hold up your hand high and imagine that on the palm of your hand is the card that you picked, OK? I'm going to name five cards. Uh, if I name your card, just drop your hand. Um... Five of clubs, two of hearts, eight of diamonds, ten of clubs, jack of spades. What? Wow. What? What? Wow. How the hell did he do that? The amazing miracle of the ping pong ball on the nose. Got the way. Ping pong ball on the nose. Yes! Woo! Yes! No, 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 this is not what I came to share with you. I grew up in Minnesota, and when you grow up in Minnesota, you move away. <laughs> First thing I did is I moved to LA, and then I started thinking, what makes people famous? And you guys, it hit me like an epiphany. Famous people, they're no different than you or me. They just got a hook, a gimmick. Howie, remember when you broke onto the scene? A rubber glove blown up with your nose. Right. Boom, famous. Howard, oh, I'll wear a top hat and play guitar for Guns N' Roses. Boom, famous. <laughs> Simple. Mel B, oh, I'm spicy. Heidi, well, you're just hot, but famous. So I thought, tonight, I will show you something you have never seen before. I have a pack of playing cards. Howard, do you mind helping with this? Sure. You say stop anywhere you want, as the cards fall. Stop. Right there? Yes. OK, this is Howard's card. You got it, Heidi? Two of spades. <laughs> Deck of cards, get ready. One, two. That's the disappearing card trick. We've seen that trick before. But look, watch, look, watch, look, watch. I'm gonna take this off so you don't get confused when I say watch. watch. Shirt tucked in, zipper fly up, zipper fly down. Look, hands empty, sleeves rolled up. Look, look, Howard, look, Howard, look. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Come on! I pulled my deck out of my pants. That's not it. Look, no two of spades. I said we make history. I said you will never forget. <laughs> and I don't just do this for me. I don't do this for my boys. I do this for America. <laughs> I was hoping to uh, amaze the judges a little bit, get inside your heads. Heidi, yes. can I come over? I want to come closer. Come on As over. if there's any reason not to get closer to Heidi Klum. Are you kidding me? Do it. 
the lovely Heidi. Howie, I need your help. Okay. Think of a number less than 100. Heidi, whatever number you want. Have you got something in mind? Yes. How long have you known Heidi? Eight years. Eight years. Any idea what she's going to pick? I don't. Me neither. All right. Mm. Yeah, let's go with this. Grab the pen for me. Okay. Eight years he's known you. How do you think I did here, Howie? Tell us, what did you end up thinking of? Tell me, Howie, what was that number? 57. Tell her, please. You saw, right? Tell her what I wrote. He wrote down 57. Wow. <laughs> I got to tell the audience, though, that was too easy. Very common tactic. Most women double their age. Most women double their age. That was too easy. Mel B, you've been all over the world. Superstar. Think of somewhere you've traveled, not for work. Not touring, not... Somewhere you've been on an incredible vacation. Ah. Uh. Maybe go a few years ago. I don't care. Think of any trip during your life. It stands out in your mind. It was amazing. Yeah. Would the judges know about it? No. Let's enlighten them. I don't want you whispering. There's microphones. People are going to think I can hear. I want you to jot down. Think of someone that was with you on the trip. Family or friend, whoever. Write down that person's first name and where. What city or what city and country. Show these judges. Don't show me. So the first name of somebody with you and where you went and make sure they can read it. Okay. And Howie, what? hold the mirror higher. Uh. <laughs> You see that? Make sure everybody sees it. Okay. Howard, keep me honest over there. All right, let me take a look. Okay. Got it? Have you got it, Melby? Okay. Is it shut? Yes. yes. Fold it shut. Fold it again. I wouldn't trust me. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Not the Dunkin' Donuts. You know what? And why not destroy? Am I literally ripping? Howie, ripping, ripping. Howie, hold out your hand. Rip, rip all the pieces. Is okay. there anything still in my hands? No. no. Heidi, frisk me. We got to make sure. We got to. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> she I can't stop. Say. I was going to do it. Tell me. I'm trying to think. You thought of it very quickly. Normally, I tell people vacations. They stumble. They... Was this in the last five or six years? No. What year was this in that case? I'm thinking not the 90s, was it? Yeah. You're getting that vibe. 90 what? 98. Okay. Is there some way I could have known about this? Did you tell anyone? Have we ever spoken before? No. In my pocket. There's an envelope. The envelope is, how could I describe it? Stapled an obsessive number of times. Right. Quite obsessive. Howard, a little due diligence. Is that thing sealed everywhere? Yes. Everywhere. Everywhere. I went wild. Rip it open. Rip it open? Yes. But not to rip the Any contents? Any way you want. All right, I'll hold if on. If it's a it's photo so, of you so and her so there so on the beach, are you going to freak out? Shut up. How do you even know it's a her? No photos. Mel B's going to get a restraining order. Here's what it says. Howard, it? nice and loud, hit it. I am picturing a vacation to Fiji that happened in 1998 and someone else here named Jerry. Yay! And that was it. Oh my God. Wow. That's pretty amazing. That is That's amazing. Bananas. That's a good one. I have been waiting 20 years for this moment. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good job. Are you kidding me? No, I think it's welcome to him. Do you do you have any playing cards? Oh, I do. You do? On you? No, I no. don't. Have any Hang on, money. let me just try and find the will to live. No, I don't have it, Heidi. <laughs> Alright, Heidi, do you have any playing cards? No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to play one for you? Heidi, over here I got a prediction. It's a prediction. It's not for now, it's for later. Ready? Ready? You're gonna touch the back of any one of these cards. Any one of these cards you're gonna touch the back of. You touch it. There we go. That, that one just there. Lovely, Heidi, let's see how you did this one. You like this one? Yeah. Very good. Alright, do you have a pen? <laughs> it just got real. This is for you. That's it. Uncap, uncap, lovely. And if you could write your name nice and neatly in the little white space along the top, just in the white space so everyone can see it. That's it, Heidi. Perfect. Lovely. And blow it dry. Oh, a little heart. That's very nice of you. eBay. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Heidi, before this, I made a prediction. You chose the King of Hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, my prediction the Seven of Spades. So basically, Heidi was wrong. <laughs> it happens, Heidi. But don't worry, Heidi, if I could really do magic, it would look a bit like this. If you ever change your mind, I'll be around where I used to be. Lonely heart and love, 
waiting for your call If you wow. ever change your mind I'll be gentle, sweet and kind dear. If you ever change your mind Ladies and gentlemen, as predicted, the seven of spades! If you ever change your mind How do you set your name still on the card? It is. It is. This is for you. I keep this? You got, yeah, yeah, it's just $12. Dang it, I don't know if you just do that. It's genuinely $12. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause Heidi returns back to her judge. Get out of here. That's all I got for you, judges. Oh! That's the deal. Oh, thanks. May I come and join you at your table? Would that be okay? I'd like to share with you a trick. It uses uh, a 50 pound note, one of the largest currency notes available in this country. With my sleeves rolled up, guys, with nothing in my hands, we can get a shot of this on the screen. I'm gonna change this 50 pound note into the much rarer, infinitely more valuable, Bank of Britain's Got Talent 50 pound note. No way. Now you can see we've got, we've got our head of state, Mr. Simon Cowell, we've got our beautiful princesses, of course, our queen. Uh, so, <laughs> for you to keep, don't spend it all at once. Guys, I don't want you to feel left out. So I brought along some more cash for you, but I know, I know deep down, you don't really want one of these. You'd much rather have one of those bank of Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> one for each of you to keep. Oh, I love that. Thank you very much. What? Thought I'd finish with a trick using a picture that I've drawn. Um, it's a self-portrait. That's me. This is where we are. Britain's Got Talent. You see, most magicians at this point would ask one of you to reach in and take a card. I'm not going to do that. Instead, if I may, I'm just going to ask each of you one question. David, if I may start with you. So if I could ask you to choose a colour, red or black, whatever you say is what we will use. What colour would you like? Black. Black. Alicia, the black cards are split into two suits. We have uh, the spades, we have the clubs. Again, if I could ask you to choose, whatever you want is what we will use. Clubs. Clubs, fantastic. Amanda, I need you to choose a value for me. What would you like? Nine. Nine, the nine of clubs. Simon, you're the boss. I'm going to give you the chance, if you like, to stick with the nine of clubs, or you can overrule all of the other judges, and you can choose <laughs> any other card that you like. What would you like? Seven of hearts. The seven of hearts. OK. Guys, there is no way I could know that you would choose the Nine of Clubs. There's no way I would know if you would overall, and if you would, what you would change to. You'll agree I haven't touched these. What I didn't tell you is that I've also drawn on the back of every single other card in this deck. Do you remember those cartoon flip books where you flick through and the little man comes to life? Check this out. You see our magician. He takes off his hat. He reaches inside. He pulls out just one card, ladies and gentlemen, not just any card, it's the Seven of Hearts. Wow.